Hello, this is the TradeSite Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Sunday, the 19th of March, 2017, ending Friday the 24th. Hope you had a good trading week. Here's a look at the dollar index daily chart. Slipped a little bit this week, still holding between the green and red static trend lines. Those are basically support and resistance and have been since the first of the year, essentially. Uh, we do have an inverted cup and handle type of formation forming right now to the downside. So a break of that red line and the low there in the middle would be uh, potentially the first sign of a move in a while. Here's a look at the euro dollar, pretty much just the inverse of the dollar index as it has been for a while now. Here's the pound. Interesting here is that one more week and the uh, the dip from the Brexit vote will actually be off the chart here, right? So if I just slide one, two, three, four, five days, boom, this is what it'll look like uh, next week. So uh, Brexit's almost, uh, boy, it's hard to believe that's been nine months. Anyways, pound uh, gained a little bit this week. <clears throat> Here's the Aussie dollar, popped in the middle of the week, uh, but it's been in a fairly narrow range. Look at the pound yen, untradeable in that range of late. Euro yen, not much better. Pound Swiss, very flat for two weeks. New Zealand dollar pair popped a little bit as well. But look at this. I mean, this whole thing has been in a 500-point range for nine months, 500-pip range for nine months. Horrible. Let's look at the intra-week action. Let's take a look at the euro and what it did in 30-minute candles for the week. High to low is 180 pips. Um, of course, a piece of it was on the uh, Fed announcement on Wednesday. That was most of the move. Uh, the pound dollar high to low was actually decent. It was almost uh, 300 pips. It's still not quite what you like to see, but it's better than we've seen a couple weeks in a row here. So we ended up with a couple winners. Um, and then mostly it was, you know, Monday flat, Tuesday down, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the rest of the day up, and Friday was flat for triple expiration. All right, so let's take a look at the economic data that's coming out around the globe this week and get ourselves a, a plan in case there is anything we need to be aware of. Uh, Japan's on bank holiday to start the week. Right move HPI out of the UK Sunday night going into Monday. German PPI, Canada, Canada's wholesale, uh, wholesale sales. Uh, Australia's CB leading index, Europe's uh, German Bubba, President Weidman speaks, don't know that one. FOMC member Evan speaks, New Zealand visitor arrivals Wednesday night, uh, Trump speaking at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time Wednesday, uh, Monday night, sorry. Uh, Australia releases the minutes of their last me meeting, HPI comes out, credit card spending in New Zealand, trade balance out of Switzerland. UK has the CPI, PPI, RPI, all the uh, inflationary numbers out of the UK at 5.30 a.m. Tuesday morning, Eastern Time. CBI, industrial order expectations out of the UK. Core retail sales out of Canada, current account out of the U.S. This is all uh, Tuesday morning. China, CB leading index. New Zealand's GDT price index. Australia, MI leading index. Japan, trade balance and monetary policy meeting minutes. Uh, all industries activity out of Japan going into Wednesday. Current account out of Europe, German 10-year bond, UK's 30-year bond. Got the uh, U.S. housing price index at 9 a.m. Wednesday morning. Switzerland's quarterly bulletin, existing home sales here in the U.S., the weekly crude oil inventory number. Uh, you jump to uh, the afternoon here, Canada. Got a uh, governing council member speaking, annual budget release out of Canada. Rate announcement out of New Zealand. Europe's got uh, ECB economic bulletin, retail sales out of the UK, CBI realized sales out of the UK, Europe's long-term refinancing operation, unemployment claims, it's the weekly number out of the US, Fed Chair Yellen speaks, uh, Belgian business climate, US new home sales, Natty Gas, Europe's consumer confidence at 11 a.m. Eastern time, that's a weird time for a European number. Fed member speaking, Swiss government, government board members speaking, trade balance out of New Zealand, a lot of speeches this week, Japan flash manufacturing PMI, on to Friday, French, German, broad European flash manufacturing and services PMI data, U.S., uh, another, another member speaking, uh, we've got the uh, Canada's CPI and then U.S. durable orders uh, at 8.30 a.m., and then uh, flash manufacturing PMI and flash services PMI here in the U.S. at 9.45 on Friday. Next weekend, Europe changes time, uh, their clocks. So we had that last weekend here in the U.S., so that kind of throws off Forex again for an hour, by an hour. Uh, not everybody's in the same, you know, if you used to wake up at 8, parts of the world now you wake up at 8, it's not the same people trading, right? So that kind of throws the technicals off for a week or two. Um, so we don't have any of our big three this week. We don't have a Fed meeting because we just had one. Most most countries had an announcement last week, a rate announcement. Uh, so it's just a straightforward trading week. 
And uh, that's it. We'll be here every day uh, making calls and doing what we do. Charts as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week.